Ellen Page has spoken out against Chris Pratt for being a member of a religious organization that does not support the LGBTQ community. The backlash came after the Lego Movie 2 star appeared on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, where he told the late night host that he had been inspired by his pastor to complete the 21 day Daniel fast, which involves cutting out meat, sugar, and alcohol, among other things. So it's a 21 day fast. That's kind of, a lot of people are doing it. I, I did it through my church. It's based on Daniel. Uh, the book of Daniel? The book of Daniel. The prophet? The prophet Daniel, Daniel from the book of, yeah, from the Old Testament, the book of Daniel. Page took to Twitter after the interview in which Pratt spoke about his church as well as the diet to write, but his church is infamously anti-LGBTQ, so maybe address that too? The post was retweeted over 20,000 times. On Monday, Pratt responded to Page and to those who believe him to be part of an anti-LGBTQ establishment via an Instagram story in which he wrote, It has recently been suggested that I belong to a church which hates a certain group of people and is infamously anti-LGBTQ. Nothing could be further from the truth. I go to a church that opens their doors to absolutely everyone. Referencing his 2017 divorce from Anna Faris, the actor continued, Despite what the Bible says about divorce, my church community was there for me every step of the way, never judging, just gracefully accompanying me on my walk. They helped me tremendously, offering love and support. It is what I have seen them do for others on countless occasions, regardless of sexual orientation, race or gender. He went on to explain that while his faith is important to him, no church defines his life. My values define who I am. We need less hate in the world, not more. I am a man who believes that everyone is entitled to love who they want to free from the judgment of their fellow man. To read more on this story, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.